So the World Tournament rewards have been distributed, which means I have fully EZA'd this LR Piccolo. I was ranked 1100th out of that whole tournament. I was trying my best for top 1k, but at the last few hours, everybody started trying. There was no way of catching up unless they like passed out or something. But anyway, I still take it. Top 2k, you're allowed to EZA this guy as well as uh, three of the other TY EZAs, which will have showcases of them in the future. So make sure you subscribe with the notification bell. Leave a like on today's video. We are closing in on that 100,000 subscriber mark. I appreciate it if you could help me reach that goal. But let's get into the details of this Piccolo here. Here are his stats, amazing amount of defense, good amount of HP and 15,000 attack. He's a leader skill for all types 3 key and 150% HP. And then attack and defense plus 90%, which can be very, very helpful for sure. Even though it's not like over 100% attack and defense, being over 150% HP is still very nice. The 12 key is colossal damage and greatly lowers attack. And then the 18 key is mega colossal damage and raises allies attack by 30%. Being a first slot unit, which we've gone through his details already, that's actually very, very helpful. For his passive skill, 3 key defense plus 200% up. It raises attack by 200%. The more HP remaining, the greater the stat boost. All allies key plus 1, defense plus 20%. Plus an additional key plus 1, defense plus 20% for all allies when there is an ally whose name includes Gohan Kid on the team. Plus an additional defense plus 100% and guards all attack as the first attack in the turn when the Gohan Kid is attacking in the same turn. So he has inbuilt guard in this rotation specifically as 400,000 defense, which is absolutely insane. He only has one link activated, and it's it's very hard for sure to get all of these links activated. There's not really that good of a linking partner, but still, regardless, that is super, super good. And the fact that he also supports as well makes uh, him very, very useful, and also raising allies' attack. So technically, his attack and defense support for the most part. Anyway, let's go and uh, start this turn here. I do want him to no item tank for one of the turns. 3 million attacks there. I was never expecting him to be a damaging unit. It's nice that he can hit over 3 million on this turn specifically. I'm very grateful for that. Uh, the main thing pre EZA was that he became like a tank. And being 400,000 with guard is exceptionally good. It sucks that he has to have a Gohan kid. It means he's very restricted on the teams that he's on. Uh, for example, Namekians, he can't really be on that. Worthy Rivals, he really can't be on that either. So, it is very annoying. We'll let this intro play. One of my favorite intros, for sure. Very wholesome. We've got to float out this Gohan, unfortunately. Uh, and then I will... Probably just leave it like this. Because I do want him next to the Gohan. They're meant to be together for the most part. Uh, let's go like that. And target you. Would have been nice to obviously put the Gohan here. Hopefully the int doesn't super. Nice. Still 36,000. They're pretty weak. I, I always forget they're like super weak. But yeah, we gotta fix up this stupid rotation. I actually have never used this Gohan yet, so this is gonna be my first time. See if he's any good. 3 million, he does AoE. No unit super attack, though. Oh, actually, the AoE is only when he uh, <laughs> has the unit super attack. Which is fine, which is fine. The more stolen, the better. So we technically have a Gohan here. We have two Gohans. 390,000 defense. A little bit lower without the support, which is fine. And then we'll go and start... I, I'm pretty sure Piccolo's got this in the bag to kill the Ints. So as you can see, his guard is activated with the arrow down. Lowered a little bit of attack because we lowered a little bit of HP as well as no support. We could have gotten an extra little bit of damage with Legendary Power, but... I didn't want that Gohan just not being able to activate his uh, passive. All right, we just get a free little heal there. And then we float out this Trunks. Um, do want to stall a little bit. So I'm going to 
start targeting you. Just to make sure that we can kill on this rotation coming up. Because we want to obviously start off with Piccolo or else I'll be forced to use like Weasers and stuff. Hopefully they don't easy the World Tournament cards too frequently, I will say. Like, not every single World Tournament. Maybe keep it the same as, like, you know, the other LR's World Tournament rewards where it's, like, every four World Tournaments, essentially. Little good... Little tanking situation right here. Alright, let's see how this goes. So he's kind of with his linking part. He, he has to be with it at this point. You can't do it with the physical Gohan because... Physical Gohan needs a Goku, which is a bit unfair. STR Gohan, the LR Prime Battle one, kind of needs another Goku as well. You can have a Goku floating out, but there's not enough in Bonds or Master and Disciple that are good. And so this Gohan is like the only choice. You can actually use the physical Goku in Gohan, but then if you ever want to exchange, then that's an issue. Alright, get the additional. So... Uh, we are guaranteed probably to kill next turn. I would hope. Can we get a crit? Additional? Alright. Might be pretty close. We'll see, we'll see. Uh, let's go like this. And then... Hopefully we get some nice additional attacks. Because this is actually going to be pretty close. I know this uh, Vegeta is not the most strongest unit in the world. <laughs> yeah, it's not going to happen. Unless this Trunks gets an additional critical. Which he does not. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. We'll just double... We'll just waste it up one time. Uh, let's just have the Gohan here stack a little bit more. Actually, what is the Gohan's defense like? 400,000? It's good because it makes it's able to make the Gohan actually like be a second slot unit as he should be with this Piccolo. This is for sure going to kill. You, I like that. I like that screen actually. That KO screen. Right, we do have to waste um, and then kind of risk it here and pray that uh, we do not die. Put the trunks in the first slot because he's already sealed anyway. And then the go and then he doesn't have to tank the tech freezer hits. At least this uh, Gohan and Goku can potentially dodge. One. Can we go back to back? Yep, there it is. All right, at least we know Vegeta's not taking a super attack. We're all good. So my plan is to just waste again. I know it's pretty counterintuitive, but um, oh the Gohan's here. What? Why is he here? No. I didn't want him here. No. It's alright. It's alright. Uh, we can just... We again. And then... Let's use the active skill on this Gohan. Why not? Three million. Nothing too crazy. It is only like a 55%, I think. Right? Yeah, 55%. Nothing too amazing. Technically, Piccolo is already guarding, so that doesn't really matter. But we still put him in the first slot. Oh, if only I was able to grab more orbs. Got a Doka mode with the Piccolo. 2.4 million attack stat. Oh, because he can't 18 key, he's actually got no damage reduction. But that's why we have the double.
Damn, these guys are still as tanky as I remember them. 54,000. At least King Cole's already super attacked, so there's a chance. How is the attack pattern? Still survivable, I would say. With a little Doka mode to heal us up. Our goal is not to win, obviously, but to survive. One. Ooh, no super attacks there. It's kind of scary. Can one Trunks pose super with a Whis be enough to tank supers? King Cold Super? Yeah. Not sure about a Freezer one. All right, no freezer there. Come on, no no supers. Nice. Heal up. Perfect. Looks like Piccolo is not going to be <laughs> super attacking, but it doesn't matter. 400,000 defense. We will take that. And this will be his moment to shine. Can he tank all of these attacks? Double digits? Super attacks? I want to see how much they take. I know it's not the most strongest... Red zone ever. Oh, the dodge. I did give him pretty much maximum dodge. Um, maximum dodge with uh, crits. I don't think additionals is worth it. I know you can greatly lower attack. Uh, but it's very unlikely that you need to always greatly lower attack. So I just went with... I gave him some additionals. It's just not... I just mainly focused on dodges. Can Vegeta dodge this? Imagine. And there you go. So that is going to be it. Unfortunately, we weren't able to see him tank that. But 400,000 with guard is still ridiculously good. There's not a free-to-play unit that has that kind of ability to, with that much defense that I can think off the top of my head. So it's just an amazing card. Let me know in the comment section how you feel about this Piccolo. Leave a like on today's video. Subscribe with the notification bell on. I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay healthy, stay safe, stay fizzy. Peace out.